Let me explain to you what is malignant hyperphenylalaninemia. Malignant hyperphenylalaninemia is the most severe and lethal condition out of all phenylketonurias. Now what is this malignant hyperphenylalaninemia? So the malignant hyperphenylalaninemia is because of a deficiency or a mutation in a gene that is coding for dihydroteridine reductase enzyme and that is DHPR, dihydroteridine reductase. So if you go back to my uh, initial uh, part of this video that I told you whenever phenylalanin is converted into tyrosine we are going to use tetrahydrobiopterine and convert that into dihydrobiopterin. Now the dihydrobiopterin will go back to tetrahydrobiopterin using an enzyme called dihydroteridine reductase. So if there is any mutation in a gene coding for dihydroteridine reductase enzyme, so that means activity of dihydroteridine reductase decreases. So that means there will be overall deficiency of tetrahydrobiopterin in the uh, tissues. So there will be deficiency of BH4, tetrahydrobiopterin deficiency will be there. Now you all know tetrahydrobiopterin is one of the requirement for phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme to convert phenylalanine into tyrosine. That's why deficiency of tetrahydrobiopterin, it leads to accumulation, a decreased conversion of phenylalanine into tyrosine. That means it leads to accumulation of phenylalanine in the tissues and that phenylalanine can go into alternate metabolic fates and then it can be converted into phenyl pyruvate, phenyl acetate, phenyl ethanolamine and they all appear in the urine sample giving rise to all the signs that we have seen in phenylketonuria. So most of the means like mental retardation, eczema, hypopigmentation, all these signs will be seen in malignant hyperphenylalaninemia. On top of it, what else is seen in malignant hyperphenylalaninemia? It is because this tetrahydrobiopterin uh, coenzyme is not only needed by phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme, it is also needed by other molecules uh, conversion in other metabolic pathways. Like as I have written here, conversion of tyrosine into L-dopa, which is done by tyrosine hydroxylase, that also needs tetrahydrobiopterin. Now the conversion of tryptophan into 5-hydroxytryptophan by tryptophan hydroxylase also needs tetrahydrobiopterin. Conversion of arginine into citrulline and nitric oxide by nitric oxide synthase also needs tetrahydrobiopterin. So in malignant hyperphenylalaninemia because of mutation in DHPR gene where there will be decreased availability of tetrahydrobiopterin so that means all these four enzyme activities will go down that means you are not making the products here. So when you don't make tyrosine, so not much of tyrosine is available to make L-dopa because even tyrosine hydroxylase is affected. So when you are not making L-dopa, that means there will be decreased synthesis of dopamine. Dopamine will be decreased, there will be decrease in norepinephrine and then there will be decrease in epinephrine. All these three neurotransmitters will be decreased because all three of them will come from L-dopa. So there will be decrease in all these neurotransmitters that is dopamine is decreased, norepinephrine is decreased and epinephrine is decreased. So and also note that dopamine in the nervous system it is, a inhib it is acting as an inhibitor of prolactin release. Now when there is a dopamine is decreased in malignant hyperphenylalaninemia that will lead to elevation of prolactin. This is one of the important point that you need to remember here. So because there is a decrease in dopamine, there will be increase in prolactin in the tissues and later in the blood. So now these are the changes that is occurring because of decrease in tetrahydrobiopterin, that is dopamine decrease, norepinephrine decrease, epinephrine decrease and increase in prolactin. Whereas at the tryptophan into 5-hydroxytryptophan level like by tyrosine or tryptophan hydroxylase because of the defect in uh, decreased availability of tetrahydrobiopterin. So when you don't get 5-hydroxytryptophan there, so derivatives of 5-hydroxytryptophan is serotonin. So there will be decrease in serotonin and later serotonin is the one which is converted to melatonin. So melatonin is also decreased. 
so melatonin is decreased there. So serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter, so that is also decreased. And also nitric oxide synthase enzyme, which makes tetrahydropyptrin, so decreased availability of that will lead to decreased nitric oxide. So nitric oxide is also decreased. So overall, what you are seeing here is there will be decrease in the synthesis of neurotransmitters, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, serotonin, and nitric oxide. These are all decreased and prolactin is this, this particular condition we refer it as a malignant hyperphenylalaninemia. Most of the time these patients they will die within two years of the disease. Now one of the treatment for malignant hyperphenylalaninemia is supplementation of tetrahydrobiopterin molecules. So there is a drug called Cuvan. This is an FDA approved uh, drug that is Cuvan. So this Cuvan is basically it's a tetrahydrobiopterin. So it is called supplementation of Q1 means supplementation of tetrahydrobiopterin and thereby you will take care of these enzymes to a certain extent. So this is all about malignant hyperphenylalaninemia and in total phenylketonuria uh, disease. I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching.